I think you can tell we have a lot of fun doing the Fishing Magician Outdoor Cooking Show. You know, that's what it's all about. We're just trying to find ways to show you how to prepare a great meal in the outdoors, whether that's on your grill in the backyard, on a campfire, or when you're RVing. We're always looking for recipes that will delight whoever you serve a meal to. And I hope you enjoy this one. Welcome to this edition of the Fish and Magician Outdoor Cooking Show. Today my guest is Leo Winfield. We've known Leo for years. He's a very smart man. He discovered the beauty, the scenery, and the wonderful lifestyle of Eastern Washington many years ago, bought a small place that he and his wife Tannis would visit on the weekends. They recently retired and built a beautiful home here right on the edge of the Wenatchee River. And they've been kind enough to invite us down here today to this beautiful setting. And we have got a great menu planned today. And in fact, let's get right to it. Okay, let's we're gonna, do it. I, I'm hungry already. I am now, so, the first thing we're gonna put on the grill, I have prepared these vegetable skewers. And what I did, I put these together yesterday and I've had the marinating in a balsamic vinegar. And we'll see what kind of flavor that adds to it. And that's a great invention you have there. I thought you'd like that, Leo. From falling off. Well, and isn't that clever? And it's flexible. This is called Firewire. And some wow. friends of ours introduced us to it. The people that hooked on toys okay. showed us these things and gave us a couple. Yeah. So we, we get to use, use these today. A shark with that. Yeah, it looks like it would work for that. It's yeah. a heavy enough awesome. leader. Right. <laughs> Maybe an orca or yeah. And what's neat about them too, because they're flexible, you can really wrap them around and make them fit on the grill so easily. And I wanted to put those on first. So we can get them cooking because some of the other items we're going to be doing today will not take that long to finish. And I've got two of these. So we're going to have plenty of uh, these. I hate to think about things. how much prep time went into that. <laughs> <laughs> but don't they look gorgeous? They look absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Really good to get those so positioned. Good. One of the neat things about this, these stainless steel. You can leave those hanging off the edge. And then you can grab those and pick them up and move them around. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. okay. We're going to call that so we can go on. Okay. Good. Now, I'm going to put my extras just down here out of the way so they don't blow off. And... Mm -hmm. Now, next on the menu ah, is wait. kokanee. Kokanee. And you now... Tell me about kokanee. Buddy. Tell me about kokanee. Leo, these fish, that doesn't look like an ordinary trout, does no, it? No. It's just got this yeah, gorgeous like color. Like a, a little bit of salmon. Absolutely, and that's exactly what they are. These are baby sockeye salmon. And they're landlocked. I call them babies. This is a mature fish. But what they do is they plant these in our area lakes. Okay. And they spawn every year. And this is about a 15-inch fish. We caught these up at Palmer Lake recently. All our life. Yep. Okay. That's cool. And okay. it's interesting that years ago I learned a recipe to make trout taste good. <laughs> On the Deschutes River, at the end of the trip, the last day of the trip, we would keep a nice big rainbow to cook over the campfire. And what we did to make them edible. I mean, I shouldn't yeah, yeah, shouldn't be yeah. so hard Tr on Tr trout. They needed something, uh, they needed something, something to make them jazz them up just a little bit. Okay. And Let's so, see what you're going to do. I have got this handy tin foil. And I last night made a mixture, which isn't too much different than the one I usually do for salmon. This is a mixture of onion salad shrimp and mm. dill. Mm. I mean, we could just eat this right out of the... Oh, yeah. I would smell the dill. I love 
And exactly, it's a beautiful flavoring for any kind of fish. And and then I mix this with cream cheese. Okay. And so what I do then, is I lay these fillets on the foil. And I'm going to make a uh, cream cheese and shrimp sandwich out of it. Oh, yeah. That's, and again, it's very simple, and as long as you've done the prep beforehand, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's so easy to do. And we used to do this right over a campfire. Mm -hmm. So you can see how I'm just going to mm -hmm. spread that out. And I'll tell you what, that's pretty much all there is to it. When I wrap it up, and I've got some others prepared, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we will. Get these all ready and on the stove in just a minute. This is so great already. Oh my gosh. I can hardly wait. Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Hi! You are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are gonna fly. Yeah, they're gonna be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Hooked on Toys! If you enjoy preparing your fishing game, Hooked on Toys has everything you need to do it right. From vacuum sealers to smokers and all the seasonings and chips to go with them, you won't believe the variety of what Hooked on Toys has to offer the outdoor chef. They have an amazing selection of outdoor cookware too. Dutch ovens to camp stoves, camp tables, cookware to treat your family and friends to outdoor cooking at its best. It's all at Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, Wenatchee. Hooked on Toys! Okay, I'm going to make a, do a quick check on our vegetables. Okay. Look at that. I think we have something to learn. Vegetables. <laughs> Did I leave you all that for the cheese? Wow. Okay, so 
the gutterfish going, we've got the veggies. I've turned those down. Those have got a nice edge to them now. Mm -hmm. Our next item on the menu is another recipe that I learned on the Deschutes River. Oh my gosh. Those were good trips. <laughs> I got a lot out like of those trips. It sounds like it. And yeah, this, this is... This is hard to beat. I don't know if you can top it or not. I know, I know. <laughs> and actually it was kind of interesting because we kind of got in a pinch once and we didn't know quite what to do. Mm -hmm. And I just dug through the cooler and just came up with this idea. Oh and uh, this is my uh, chicken flambe. Uh, wow. We call it pill chick. That's what my friends called it. Because okay. <laughs> my nickname at the time was Pilgrim of all okay. things. And so this, that's short for Pilgrim Chicken. And I've made okay. this so ever now, since then. Where did you come up with chickens on the Pilgrim? On the Deschutes yeah. <laughs> River. The Deschutes River. The Deschutes River. Oh my God. Well, we were prepared every okay. time we went right. because okay. we always had lots to, we had a hungry crew every time okay. we went. Good. So now I'm going to get our little Coleman going. I'm going to get this temperature so I don't flambe the whole stove like that. I'll get this grill nice and hot. And again, this is not a complicated recipe. Uh, that's why it works so well on the river. Yeah. Open stove, river, yeah. yeah. And we've Probably even done this over at Camp Soap. Yeah, yeah. On the edge of a, a few rocks or something at a time. Now, what I'm going to do is I've already got some chicken prepared, and I've just diced this up, the rest of chicken. And again, what I've done is I've got some flour. I've got about a half a cup of flour in here. Just need to dust that chicken a little bit. And get this. Get some chicken in here. Well, you know, and I really shouldn't brag too much about how what a great recipe this is because you know how everything tastes so much better when you're outdoors. Oh. So this starving bunch maybe gave me more credit than I deserve for coming up with this recipe. I want to make the right amount. Okay. This is uh, three medium-sized chicken. <laughs> yeah, Quincy is being so good. Quincy is the family dog and is just a delight and she's being so patient and good. Steady, sitting in the studio audience. Yeah, not up here. That's the stuff. Yeah, we just want to make sure that that gets covered. Beautiful. Now we've got our chicken all okay. dusted ah. with flour. And here in a second, I'm going to check our temperatures. Okay. And the next step is we put it on that griddle, and then I'll show you the secret to this okay. recipe. It's going to be hot. There we go. Okay. Let's have chicken. Chicken is coming up. And as you can see, I've already diced this up, mm -hmm. which makes it uh, cook quickly mm -hmm. and also uh, makes it easier when you're in the camp, around the camp, to actually 
consume. You can actually stand up and consume this chicken, which it makes it real convenient when you're out of doors. Never Good. miss the last drop. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay, so everything's looking great. Yeah, that's starting to happen. And we have more butter here. center of this pan. That's starting to happen. Yep, yep. And usually this is a pretty, shouldn't take too long at all. Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Hi, you are not going to believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste, 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are going to fly. Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Hooked on Toys! If you enjoy preparing your fishing game, Hooked on Toys has everything you need to do it right. From vacuum sealers to smokers and all the seasonings and chips to go with them, you won't believe the variety of what Hooked on Toys has to offer the outdoor chef. They have an amazing selection of outdoor cookware too. Dutch ovens to camp stoves, camp tables, cookware to treat your family and friends to outdoor cooking at its best. It's all at Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, Wenatchee. Hooked on Toys! As you know, I do a lot of cooking outdoors, and a lot of times that's in low light. Well, my friends from Coast showed me this great lantern that solves a lot of those problems. This very compact lantern has a lot of different functions and will really make a difference when you're operating at night or at low light. This has a nice bright light. And it also has a rheostat built in, so you can actually dim it if you want to. And then it also has some other functions that I think anglers in particular will appreciate. This goes from that low light of rheostat to a nice, nice red light that keeps your night vision. And this is a feature that I know that walleye anglers or anglers that are on the water prior to daylight doing some rigging will really appreciate. And then it even has another function which is kind of an emergency function where it actually flashes to. Now this, this is powered by four D-cell batteries. When I got the unit, the instructions told me that it could burn up to a hundred hours. I'd never heard of such a thing so I decided to test it myself, loaded it with fresh batteries, put it in my garage and left it there. I checked on it occasionally and I came back after two weeks and this was still having light. It was incredible the amount of battery life you can get out of this unit. A friend of mine said, I've got to have one of those. He has a house full of kids. He can never find a flashlight that has any power left in it. So this is a great unit. You'll find it really handy when you're cooking outside or when you're fishing. 
in low light or the dark. This is from our friends at Coast, and you can find out all about it by logging on to coastportland.com. We just want to get this browned, and sometimes I'll add some onion to this. And what we do want to add, of course, is some salt. Oh, it's being really cooperative. This can be uh, turned into quite a process when you're on a camp stove or a, or a campfire. It makes it real interesting, but it is possible we have accomplished that. Great pepper on here. And of course, you know, you can always play around and add your own favorite spices to this. It's, again, pretty simple recipe. Well, I think the dill would go good there, but we already have dill with the fish, so... That's right. So we're in good shape. And I suppose one of the things you want to try for, too, is keeping a, a single layer with your chicken so that it is browning at the same time. Okay, now, we're gonna let that side brown just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, turn on. Oh, yes. Ooh, I can smell it. Ooh, my <laughs> oh, now those things are happening. Oh, now those no. things are happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we started this end. Okay, yeah, we're getting that nice brown. Oh yeah. Good job. My retriever. Golden retriever. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I want to get one side of this pretty well cooked. And the last Oh, yeah. This is the coup de gras. In this case, we just put a little gram on you in there. Look at that. We got it. Slam day. Slam day. Holy moly. Look at that. That always amazes me. Okay. Well, I've got the fish. I've got some vegetables here. Let's give this one more flam bay. Go ahead and get that a shot. Finishing touch. A finishing touch. Wow. Whoa, man. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. Woo -hoo -hoo. I love that part of it. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. That would always make them excited in the okay. campground. Everybody was jealous. So now I am going to just okay, scoop up a little bit of this chicken, add that to your plate. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to remind you that this is going to be hot. And you have your choice of what you want to taste and give wow. us your opinion. What a <laughs> choice. I want to try to fish to start with. Oh yeah, look at that nice. Mm. Let's show that plate to the camera. Now oh, that is God. what I call some fine outdoor eating. Couldn't get any better. Oh. Fine, fine I mean, this is the payoff. Every time after all of that cooking, we get to sample this fine meal. Janice, Leo, thank you so much for inviting us to this beautiful setting, your new home here in Peshastin. And I can't wait to see your faces when you get to dig into this wonderful outdoor cooked meal. Our pleasure. Let me tell you, our pleasure.